All right, let's do this. So this is the first ever live I'm doing uh, on my channel. Uh, I don't know if anyone will uh, turn up, but uh, we'll see. So um, I asked uh, in the uh, post if someone wanted to see a Nora video. Of course, obviously, a lot of you responded positive to that. I knew that was going to happen. I just uh, wanted to kind of tease you a little bit. So, um, yeah, the reason I thought of this doing this video is I um, I have been ordering some Noref on a French website and um, I have a list of my Norefs, but uh, it's not 100% accurate. So I thought I get my, um, I'm just going to change the, the view here a little bit. I thought I get my the plastic container with the my Norifs um, downstairs, and uh, I wanted on the website. I saw uh, my uh, box, the half of the, the the content of the box laying on the table here. So I thought, uh, why don't I just uh, leave it here and kind of put the everything nicely together? And uh, make a video of it and then uh, I thought well why not a live video um, it's my first ever who knows maybe my last we'll see uh, whether I'm so yeah uh, th I see there's uh, two people watching now so that's good um, feel free to uh, comment if you want so um, let's start with the basics and that is Noref City so Norf City, uh, this is a, a box. Um, well, it's hard to show here. Yeah, Norf City. Here you go. Um, so this is a box, a ten pack, that has the basic main lines of Norf. So not the ones you are used to see on my channel. Um, I've only found this once. And well, now I just ordered some online. Um, there's only one store I know that uh, that sells these. So um, these are smaller than the regular Norris, you know. I'll make this a little size comparison here. So this is the Fiat 500. So you see, uh, where's the camera? <laughs> I'm new to this, you can see. Fiat 500, Norev. Got basic wheels, does have tampons in the front, tampons in the back. And then here's the, uh, the proper Nora version, the more premium one. Thank you. First time watching one of these live. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your kind words. Words. So here is the premium version and here's the city version. So you can see they did not use the same casting and just uh, dumbed it down a little. No, they made a complete other casting, kind of a little smaller in scale. Um, this is what the, we call 3 inch, so it's not 164 scale. Um, it's made to fit the packaging. This probably looks more like uh, 164 scale because this. In this scale, it looks more like a 143 scale car than a, than a 164, this one. So you can see it's kind of made to fit the packaging. All the, the Norev boxes, the window boxes are more or less the same size. So they make them fit uh, to, uh, to the box. So that's when it comes to the city cars they also do these things so this is a I'm going to lift up the camera kind of a play set um, you can see here the city it comes with this uh, this Porsche and there's also in uh, in this uh, 10 pack um, so yeah I only bought it because it was less than half price uh, and it kind of can show you it's kind of similar to what Siku does with these uh, play sets not uh, not like I'm ever going to put this up or anything but you know kind of interesting to have when you're doing a video like this you want to uh, 
like something that is uh, kind of representable for the uh, for the brand. So car makes um, Norav has a huge amount of licenses for uh, car makes, but most of them they um, use in the 143 scale. In the 164 scale, or better, the three inch, there's only a few car brands or car makes they still use. Most, of course, obvious, the uh, French brands, so Citroën, Peugeot, by uh, Renault. And also, I have some older stuff here, BMW, this row is Mercedes, got some VW, got some Porsche, Fiat you just saw, Mini and Aston Martin in the back. And there's some other brands in the, uh, the multi-packs in the back I will show uh, later on. Um, packaging styles. I think some of you are interested in packaging. I'm not much in, interested in, but just for, um, yeah, for this video, I will uh, show some packagings. This is the oldest, oldest style packaging I have. Mini Jet, it says on them. Um, so these did not have a year on them yet. So these are early 2000, 2000 sorry. Uh, here's the other cars in the set, uh, not the quality we know now. So a little bit more basic, but already lensed headlights and uh, authentic rims. But uh, yeah, uh, I definitely would like to find this one, the Audi A4 Avant. Uh, that's the favorite, my favorite of this uh, list here. Um, so I don't have a blister version, I just have this uh, window box. I don't know if they ever were available as a blister card, uh, I'm not sure. Um, then the second oldest packagings I have are these ones. So these um, blister cards and both, um, they also have the uh, boxes. Uh, need to find a similar style one. So both uh, blister and box, you have this Norref with a colored stripe underneath. And the colored stripe stands for the, um, the, the theme. So this is a street racer theme. They don't do that anymore. They quit doing this uh, racing theme. So these are 2014. This is the oldest one I have, 2011. 2014 they always have a, a date on the on the cardboard starting from 2011 I think maybe 2010 I'm not sure um, so every theme would have a different uh, colored line so the um, hello I can't read Russian uh, Romat cars uh, I think you're in Eastern Europe too one of my favorite brands he says yeah, uh, there's a lot of fans of uh, Norev, uh, I've uh, found out. Uh, I didn't realize that before, but uh, yeah. So that's why I thought this video makes Racing gets a uh, brown, the uh, orange line, sorry. Orange line. And you you get uh, you get the idea. So, and the same goes for the window boxes. Uh, retro is brown, and so on. And then, a little bit more recent, you get these kind of packagings where the um, series is written on the card. So it's always the same like this, red Norev. And then uh, this is emergency. You bet there are lots of fans. Hello, David. <laughs> uh, retro, you see it's all written underneath. And then the most newest, the newest uh, blister cards are these with the a round edge and it says um, the type of vehicle that it is in the blister so uh, that's uh, the most recent packaging blister wise and you have the same in the uh, in the window boxes too um, something to notice with the window boxes is that the ones from the dealerships are smaller than the uh, the regular ones so if you have a, a Citroën in a Norev packaging, the dealership packaging is uh, way smaller. See? And it's the same with the, the other dealership ones. 
the um, the Peugeot dealership box here, and uh, I have one in the kind of a dark blue too. And uh, yeah, Mercedes one. So this is the Mercedes dealership packaging. Much smaller than the uh, the regular Norf packaging you would find a Mercedes in and then you got the multi-packs uh, nowadays they are all four packs so I have three packs and five packs but uh, nowadays they are all four packs so I got these when they were clearancing these this is a farmer one got all farm vehicles in it I'm actually only interested in this little van here um, racing theme so i think they changed to the four cars because well it's a little bit cheaper that way and uh, that way they only have to make one multi-pack so no more three or five packs just one four pack available uh, of course in different uh, themes showroom racing uh, and so on so uh yeah I did forget to point out the other brands that are in here um, where is it so here you have the well, Volkswagen we already know but for instance here is a, uh, a Chevrolet um, but uh, kind of a Korean Chevrolet so that's a different brand this is a Gran Turismo Citroen um, and do we have others yeah we have an Audi in here too so that's uh, this is an Audi so you see they have a lot of licenses but they they rarely use them in the in this scale and I also have some uh, some jammers in the back with some uh, some cars I've ordered uh, let's see oh yeah and uh, there's also of the latest years they uh, have been doing 164 scale also um, I think because the car makes makers demand it the ones I have are in my uh, display cabinet over there so those you will see whenever I do a, a video of my display cabinet um, so I thought I opened up some, some blister ones why because as you can see here most of these blisters ha do not do not have an inner plastic so the cars they get tossed around in there horribly and these are in a uh, plastic container so every time i pick up that plastic container uh, they get they move around in there see here's a flipper if you have a low vehicle like this mercedes convertible it just uh, flips around uh, same with that uh, I don't know, Alpina I have somewhere here. Yeah, there's another flipper here. So, yeah. Sometimes they do put an, uh, an inner in there. It's kind of a uh, plastic part that holds the car. Like this one, that's perfect. Uh, I don't know why they always don't always do that, but uh, yeah, this protects the car from packaging rub. And uh, yeah, that's what we want, right? Because the window boxes are a little bit more expensive but if you can get uh, the blister ones with an uh, an inner to keep the car in its place and have no packaging rub then uh, it's more interesting to buy the, uh, the blister ones of course mm, so let's open some things up if you have suggestions suggestions or questions ask away uh, that's what this uh, format is for so here in the farmer series we have an uh, Citroën pickup seven people watching that's great it's climbing I like to see that you can see it opens up very easily because the glue is getting old this is 2015 oh hello uh, Crooked Garage 1999 uh, hello from France how is it over there in France So, metal cab got a separate piece for the light on top 
the plastic bed tilts and then uh, this uh, opens up in the back to dump uh, the stuff get tail lights painted get lens headlights as always plastic tires you do get suspension I'm fine thank you ground and two like uh, many people I think all over the world so uh, yeah can't go to work can't get out hello Jacob Seaman the stats on the vehicle or some stats and uh, yeah Les Miniatures de Norev so yeah also authentic rims very cool the uh, Peugeot 2008 so 2014 date on the packaging so again you got some stats on the base oops sorry forgetting where the lens is kind of a strange orange color so you get temples all around you see here around the windows you get the tail lights uh, no badges here on the back or uh, the model name you get the black paint on the grill get some black paint here on the uh, bumper and then you get these lines here on the side so yeah they put a lot of work in it and you get a, a, a kind of a moonroof like the real car has you missed something well i gave an introduction to uh, norev but uh, since uh, you have uh, some norev i assume i think um, i think you uh, you didn't miss miss much goedemiddag uh, that's uh, someone who uh, speaks my language uh, so yeah let's uh, not uh, dwell too much on one car so here's the Peugeot 3008. This is uh, the exact car my boss drives. So uh, yeah, kind of cool to have that one. Not that I want to be reminded of work, but anyways, I have some time off now, so that's pretty cool. So these all have the authentic rims, obviously. The lensed headlights very nicely done grill look at the detail on that and the rest of the bumper is nicely detailed too so again full tempo around the windows down here of course i have a lot of norev yeah i can imagine being from france you have a lot of norev because they're well the best place to find is in france of course if you want to find norev Black paint here on the bumper too, around the wheel arches. So this is not part of the base, this is all metal that has been painted. So yeah, it's a very nice model. I don't have a huge amount of a new style vehicles by Norev. I prefer the older ones, but uh, yeah, they do them very well, as you can see. The uh, Peugeot 307 in a... Um, Kind of a fire department livery, French of course. Can you do a video of Herper cars opening? Uh, I don't have any Herper cars because they are 187 scale. I don't collect 187, um, so I have to yeah I have to let you down on that one. Would you classify these Norris and Dust cars as their main lines? No. Uh, the main lines I showed at the beginning, so uh, you can watch that if uh, after the live is done, um, you can um, you can watch that. And those the city ones are their main lines. These are these are more premium, even though. Okay, kind of lost connection there. Sorry, uh, that is a three hundred eight. Yeah, uh, thankfully uh, somebody from France is uh, watching to correct me. Um, so yeah, first gen three hundred eight. Uh, suspension, authentic rims, yeah, whole nine yards. Separate piece for the light bar. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty big also when you compare it to the uh, this one. See, it's much wider. 
Can hypercars be in Israel in the stores? I don't know. I never shop for hypercars, so uh, I couldn't tell you. So maybe this is more 164. I like watching your videos because we don't get the north here in the USA. Many of the cars that are modeled are unfamiliar to people here. French brands pulled out of US markets. Yeah, that's a pity. Uh, maybe that will change one day, but for now, thankfully there's videos like this. So this is a pretty old one, no date on it. So this also has a little inner piece to protect it. Hypo has a few 164 with uh, their Rama sets, I believe. Yes, but those are made by RMZ City. So those are not manufactured by Herpa. They are just um, marketed as Herpa cars in Europe and maybe uh, uh, somewhere else in the world. But those are actually RMZ City production vehicles. So 207cc, standing for Coupe Cabriolet. Uh, that's okay, David. Uh, I'm here uh, to. I'm not that knowledgeable on everything, you know, but I know something. But yeah, scale of number of cars. If you don't like to collect the number of cars, tell me the difference. Um, scale three inch, so kind of around seven centimeters, made to fit the box or the blister. They're changing to 164 scale currently, uh, as of. Uh, yeah, last year or later years, but it's going to take a time, some time till all the vehicles are 164 scale, obviously, because they just started uh, making them in 164 scale. Very cool. It folds down into the. Uh, I'm gonna have to go into get it back in there. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, normally it folds into the boot or trunk, of course. This one also has suspension and stuff. Got a lot of these uh, 208s. There's a lot of them around. So they make them in all kinds of colors because they make them for the dealership boxes or cards, of course. So And the dealerships want all the cars, all the different colors. To be available well maybe not all of them but several so if you buy a peugeot favorite cars are secret cars hyper cars and valley cars and also major it yeah maybe uh, if uh, people like this format i can do a seco video next or a welly video who knows uh, let me know if you would like to see that yeah so got a white one got a red one 2013 and just to show you how many different versions they make here in this three pack you got another similar color it's a little bit more orangey so you see lots of variations a lot of different wheel styles uh, there's even uh, I think two different models of the 208 they do so yeah uh, different tail lights also so the French cars, they go all out on them. So really crazy how many different uh, you would like that. Okay, thank you. So yeah, again, very nicely detailed all around. Here's a, then we get to the uh, Renault. Here's a electric car, 2012. So this one is still on sale and very heavily promoted, by the way, because I see advertising on these every day on TV. A little small electric car. You can either buy the batteries or lease them. So if you're scared of uh, batteries failing after a while, you can lease them. And then uh, you can, if they break down, you just get uh, another set of batteries. So yeah, I got it in blue. 2014 so yeah also uh, can you do welly cars openings well if i get enough of uh, people asking me to maybe i will 
And then we got an oldie here, retro series 2014, a Renault, the Renault 4 from 1964. It says 164 on the base here. So this is probably not three inch, but 164. You can see some uh, packaging wrap on the roof. Very thick rubber tires, you can see. So the, uh, the retro ones usually have rubber tires, but you know, not always. Why sometimes they get them and sometimes they don't, I, I don't know. I just, uh, that's, uh, I cannot answer that question. So yeah, this one gets a nice, uh, nice interior too. Very cool. Here's a newer Renault. All those retro ones, well, <laughs> yeah, they're very nice. This is a 2016, a little bit more re recent. The Renault Megane. Very, very nice, striking blue color. So as you can see, the, the more recent ones do not have the suspension anymore, but they do get the uh, nice rims. This one has painted headlights, so no lens. So, but still very nicely done. Again, decos around the windows, a side light here in the back. So yeah, pretty cool. And the dash yeah, looks really nice, that one. Yeah, it does. You can also Nederlands Nederlands, right? Of schrijven wil ik zeggen. Um, so, but then of course not everyone can read it if uh, he writes in Dutch. Uh, yeah, I think I already opened these in the <laughs> in the uh, chase report, so we're going to leave those closed by now or for now. Showroom 2014. Uh, yeah, I have to read this. The A150 Renault Alpine 400 chevaux, it says. 400 chevaux. Very nice taillights in the back. Also painted headlights, but you know, if you would have to make these lensed that small, yeah, that's not going to work out, is it? You know, the, uh, the deco on the side, it's a racing one. So this was repackaged. So 2014 is probably not correct either. I'm not sure with the tape if I can be able to open it properly. Just going to have to rip it open. So it's a little bit dusty too. I apologize for that. You know what? I have a little rag here, so I can just give a quick clean so you can look at a uh, clean car. I always try to have a rag present. Do you know how Dakers do it and how do you meet each other to be friends? Um, well, we only meet at uh, the NAMAC. Um, so uh, I first met him when he was doing a video there. So uh, I uh, spoke to him and I said, hey, are you Dakers dude? And I said, I am. So that's how we met. Um, yeah. And then we keep in touch via WhatsApp. Uh, we, when I find something, I send him a picture. And when he finds something, he sends me a picture and where we found it and stuff like that. So yeah, he's a cool, cool dude. And he makes cool videos. So very nice uh, Renault Alpine. And Oh, there's a uh, Dacia that is not in the Dacia uh, line. Well, okay, it's in the Renault line. That's okay. It's the same company. We got the blister breaking, like sometimes happens to uh, Hot Wheels too, you know. These are often made of environmentally plastics, and then they uh, they start breaking. This one has suspension too, so a little bit older casting. The white rims I'm not a huge fan of. So this has an opening part, as you saw, and a uh, trailer hitch, which is strange on, a, strange on a racing vehicle, but you know, that's how the casting is. A major red does one in a uh, kind of a similar, similar livery, I think. 
this one is in a racing livery but it is in a separate theme la course cycliste uh, kind of a tour de france livery i don't know if it's actually licensed by tour de france but well that's good to know i subscribe to you both by the way well, thank you very much very nice of you this one also has an opening part and it's a station ring so yeah i really like this one so this is the uh, megan grand tour is what the station wagon version is called the three european diecast youtubers i watch are you diecast and diecast swim it's great to see how this hobby is global yeah, that's the great thing uh, about youtube uh, that's how i uh, how I started, you know, I um, I was looking for info on the diecast cars and I ended up uh, on the uh, race grooves, uh, Mark's, uh, Mark Kazimov, his uh, YouTube channel. And uh, that's got uh, the whole thing started. And uh, yeah, when I've heard so many brands collected in USA, they don't know about. Yeah, that's, that's true, uh, David. Um, so some people, um, Hot Wheels is the only brand in the world and uh, that's fine but uh, I like uh, diversity and uh, that's why I uh, yeah I collect uh, all these different brands so only have a few BMWs uh, they don't do BMW anymore in the, the three inch ones 2011 so that's my uh, oldest date it's a Z4 GTI Tuners Fugio. That's kind of a strange theme. Yes, I'm learning from watching these great Euro channels. Thank you. Uh, happy to help, but I learn a lot from the uh, the other YouTube channels also. Obviously, no suspensions. Got very nice rims, I think. Uh, casting wise, well, don't think it's perfect. And I'm wondering if this thing comes off too. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Look, what is the name of brand from Spain? Um, I think I know what you mean. Um, I can't come up with it now. Um, right now, but maybe Luke knows. Yeah, click, click. Grisval, yeah, that's it. You have a booklet from 1977, that's cool. Look, do you know um, Heron van Damme? He's a, he's a very famous collector. Uh, he has uh, all kinds of brands. When I was really young. You had the booklet, you mean. And now you've lost it, you don't have it anymore? Not really. Where is he located? In Ghent. So then we have the Mercedes. Oh, you still have it. That's cool. Uh, they still do Mercedes nowadays. Um, they do the um, they do this one. I think everyone knows this one. Very cool one. Um, they also still do this one. The golden one. Hi. Hello. Welcome. On Retro Series, they have different scales and they mentioned that on the base, I like that. Mm -hmm. And that's the only Mercedes I know they still do. Uh, this one, I'm going to have to open this way. So, this seems pretty small, so this could be in 164 too. Also have uh, in the attic. So uh, a lot of these Mercedes seem to be 164 and not three inch, because uh, they're kind of small. Do you know if they still Norev in Belgium somewhere? Yes, uh, you can find Norev at uh, Broze. Uh, Broze is a uh, a toy importer in uh, Brussels. I think and they have stores in Brussels and Wallonia so if you go for instance to uh, Broze Drogenbos you will find uh, both the city ones so the the play ones the toy ones and then these uh, nicer ones 
how to have made this Mercedes before I've got one from 1980. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that's right. The, the, what is it, the 500K? Can you find North in Canada? Uh, I think you can, but I'm not sure. I, I know David ordered some uh, some Norev, I think, from Canada, or was it uh, another brand? I can't remember. BC, what is BC? It's kind of a province in Canada, I guess. Nice steering wheel. So we got the flipper, 2014. So this is an SL British Columbia. Okay, yeah, thank you. Kind of, yeah, wiping off the uh, packaging we're up here. Another brand, Dykes dude, sent me mine. Okay, or I got uh, eBay from French sellers. Yeah. Nice interior also camera will focus you can see the the big screen in the central the center the command system and the steering wheel yeah it's kind of hard to see but yeah very nicely detailed here we got a racing one a mercedes c-class 2013 so yeah Norev is a wonderful brand. I prefer 143 scale. Yeah, that's okay. The uh, Young Timers series is very nice of, in 143 scale. But, you know, uh, when you're running out of space uh, like I am, uh, it's better to collect uh, the smaller scale. Very nicely. You see here the fuel filler opening hands. The Norev ones I like very much. They do a, re a really good job on them. Here we got the uh, Porsche Blitz Blister. This one I traded with uh, Heron van Damme. Can we get into the four packs in the background? Uh, yeah, I have a few more um, blister ones I'm going to open up and then we get uh, to the four the uh, um, multi packs. So this one has suspension is 996 turbo. So very nicely detailed. It's got the window halfway open. That's a nice touch. Turbo written on the back. It got uh, some paint on the uh, exhaust, you see. Unfortunately, I can't stay for the rest of it today. I'll review the remainder when posted. Thank you for doing this and to, for the enjoy. The, yes, you too. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, David. Here we got, uh, again, one of the cycling ones 2014 very goofy with the polka dots very nicely detailed grill by the way this one also has a suspension this is the uh, Volkswagen EOS very nice more like no review Uh, yeah cool oh yeah this one has a very nice proper steering wheel seems like on the convertibles they uh, do an extra effort for the uh, for the interior it seems yeah cool Volkswagen Beetle so um, Volkswagen is still present in the current day lineup they have this one the Herbie one that's the only one I know of they still use. 2014. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm wrong. They have a, a red one with a light on top from the fire department, French fire department. That one they still have to emergency version. Volkswagen 1303. So again, rubber tires, like many of these older ones. Punch buggy. Um, then got a mini here uh, 2014 whoops dropped it mini Cooper 
so again we get the rubber tires nicely detailed in the front look at that badge the white paint on top details in the back and I forgot my other favorite cars oh, oh, so Tomica yeah Tomica is cool too luckily no oh, airbags yet <laughs> well my parents had one of these in, in red and the, that car, the car is so tiny and uh, that sometimes they didn't see them driving and they, they they got ran into a lot of times so uh, luckily with no uh, heavy injury um, favorite of mine Aston Martin I don't see any Aston Martin in the front lineup anymore either if you after one of these look at the front lip here or the front spoiler sometimes these are broken so take a good look at them if you uh, if you are able to of course if you order them online that's going to be hard it's a, a huge casting so it's definitely three inch got a big diffuser in the back the uh, wing is metal so that's really cool and it's got a roll cage inside but it's, it's hard to show the interior but yeah very nice casting very cool glad to have it okay uh, by request we go to the uh, multi-packs the old mini you have looks like an autobianchi yeah well autobianchi made um, minis um, on the, um, they got a license to build minis and name them autobianchi i believe if i'm not mistaken does then uh, does anyone want to see the farmer pack i don't really think so it's not that impressive I just bought this for the video so I can show you what exists. Well, I bought uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, the racing ones. Maybe we can take a look at the uh, the Audi. It's the only Audi I have here. And uh, you can ask for something if you want to see something different. The Audi R18. So, got the lens headlights also. So these are all real accurate uh, tempos that really exist. The e-tron quattro. I think it's all metal here. Oh, Innocenti. Yes, that's the one. Not Autobianchi. Innocenti. That one, they had the uh, mini license. You're correct again, my friend. You know a lot about cars. Kind of dirty there. You know what's up with that. So that's the... Uh, Audi, yeah, maybe the Polo is interesting too, because that's a fan favorite also, the WRC. Um, the Majorette ones are also very popular, so those are pretty similar to these. We are already 45 minutes in, so I'm not going to take much longer, because otherwise it's going to get too long. We've got the uh, Advan livery. I've got another Advan one, uh, the expense, most expensive one, the most expensive Norif I've ever bought is uh, I've just ordered online in this livery. So I will show that in the chase report when it comes in. Hopefully it gets here. It's coming from France, so uh, it's not that far. But you know, in these times, uh, everything seems kind of far. They also do a lot of, uh, is that a orange 911 in a three pack? Uh, the three pack. Mm, no, there's a red 911 here in the three pack. Peugeot 508 and then a, a concept car. Uh, in this five pack, there's a um, left. I mean, this three pack. It's a uh, other left. <laughs> uh, no, there's no there's no 911 in any of the three packs. See, it's the C4 Cactus 208 and the I think the DS4. Um, so here we got a Mercedes A-Class, the new Mini concept vehicle. Porsche 911 and the uh, Renault. Uh, yeah, 
as pass. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, they also do uh, 10 packs, by the way. Orange is a Citroën GT. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Gran Turismo one, yeah. Um, the one, it's okay, you can make the video longer. YouTube is your playground. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So this is very representative of Norev. Um, 10 pack where you get something from everything. So you got the emergency uh, series, showroom, racing cars. There was a, uh, there's a car missing because it's in the, it's in the jammer over there. So it's one of these uh, Renault RS zero ones that was in there. I uh, showed it in uh, one of my anniversary videos where I was celebrating amongst others the 110th anniversary of Renault. So that's why it's out of there and in the jammer. Um, racing, emergency, construction, that's also a series. I don't have many of those because I'm not really interested in them. A backhoe, racing, emergency, showroom, farmer. So very representative of the, the brand, of what you can get. And uh, yeah, very nice, pretty inexpensive. I, uh, we do these live things. Um, one more last, oh yeah, I wanted to show this one too. I really would like to compare this one to the Hot Wheels one. Yeah, uh, what is the North website called? Uh, I'm not sure, I never go to it. Uh, probably norf.com or something. Um, last thing I want to show, something really special. Uh, look, if you're still on, I don't know if you have these. I think you're probably the only one that will be interested in these because they are in a Belgian livery. These are uh, for emergency vehicles um, with a Belgian livery. Very exclusive, only to be found in Belgium, of course. Uh, they were available at this toy store. They were three euro and I bought the set when they were clearancing them and they were only one euro. Gotta go, thank you for a great video. So try to watch them all, be safe and stay healthy. And everyone, yeah, same to you. Roger, it will make the five to, yeah, they will. Dreamland, yeah, that's it. So we got the helicopter, policy on the side. So this is from uh, 2013. Got the 911 in a policy livery. Got the uh, Renault Grand Tour in a policy livery. Uh, Brandweer livery, uh, sorry. Fire department. And then we got an ambulance. It's got the plastic doors that open up in the back. So, yeah, pretty cool. I'm happy to have it. I kind of regret not buying all of them when they were clearancing them for one euro. So, it uh, um, seems we bought the same, except I didn't get the 911. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, that's a nice one, but I'm sorry, I don't have any extras, so I can't help you with that. And they're all gone now from the stores. Um, so, I'm about to close up. Is there anything you want to see or ask all the best from Romania and do more live videos like this. Be safe, stay positive. Thank you very much. Yeah, if uh, the reactions are positive, I probably will do more live videos uh, on the, uh, another brand like Seiko or Welly in the future. Um, maybe one more I show. Maybe if there's some uh, German viewers here. Uh, it's in here in the jammer. And that's a... Uh, Polizei livery one. I got that from uh, Heron van Damme too. Uh, yeah, see, he wrote on it trade. Do you know when the new Majors will be in store? You know, the 911 will be the one to have. Yeah, the Porsche series, that's uh, the one everyone is, uh, is looking for or will be looking for. Um, I'm guessing, I think, the second half of the year. Um, yeah, it's, uh, they, they, they've, they've been doing a good job on, uh, yeah, they are getting stuff in the stores. So, uh, uh, at least here, uh, uh, where I live, so I can't really complain. Yes, that's correct. Ambrost Vortex. I already did the, uh, diecast brand review on Majorette in 2018. So you can find that in, um, in, um, my um, playlist 
This is the second Diecast brand review video I do. First one was not live, obviously, because I could not do a live one, because I did not have enough uh, subscribers. That's uh, one of the... Uh, my grammar is horrible. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Nobody is uh, paying attention uh, to your grammar as long as we understand each other that's fine so uh, i want to thank you all for watching thank you for your kind words um let me know what uh, diecast brand you want to see next i remember in my child in my way that car was for that kind of ladder on top yeah i have that one too i showed it in one of my events you can find it in my playlist thank you very much stay safe stay healthy uh see you next time bye bye